There we go. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Hey, hey, hey. Um, I don't need to mute anything because I only have one camera going. Okay. So, are you ready for this? Yes, I'm ready. Are you ready? Where's yours at? Oh, okay. Did you see the post that I made and all the people putting the suggestions? Yes, I did. There were some really good suggestions. There, was. There. there was some very good suggestions. It's pretty cool. Yes, I think so too. So, what are you going to make? What are you doing? I'm making a flower. That's what I'm making. So, um, are you putting it on a background? I am because I'm going to attach it on here. Oh. I think. Maybe. Mary, awesome. we had technical difficulties, so we were late. Thank you for being here and being diligent to find us. Yes. Thank you. I'm not attaching mine to anything. I have a different plan. You have a different plan? Yeah. Okay. Let me... Um... I don't know why I don't see the chat. Oh, there she is. Hi, Mary. <laughs> so here's mine. Okay. I'm going to paint the part that's sticking out, and then I have a ring that I'll put on here. Okay. And I'm going to use fabric to make my petals. Oh, that'll be cool. And then I'm going to wrap, wrap the handle in fabric to look like the stem. That's cool. That'll be cool. Here's my idea. This is the center. And then I went ahead and cut some of these out of the cookie sheets. Oh, yeah. And I was going to go around. These are kind of big. We might cut them down a little. Go around. And the reason I was putting it on the background was just to help hold all of it. You know? Yeah, I like that. Because originally I thought I would just take some floss and like, put holes in it and then it would just stick up but I don't know I think I would like it like this so oh, well when I was chatting with Pepper yesterday I was saying to her should I do my petals out of fabric or paper and she said fabric and I'm like okay well how can I get the fabric to be like that like firm yeah yeah and she said um she had the idea to use wire like jewelry rot wire or some kind of skinny wire and shape it like a petal and then glue a solid piece of fabric over it. That would work. Yeah. So it's like that's, that's a good idea. idea. But yeah. then I thought about doing wire around it and then I thought, oh I have a laser. I can just cut a ring to fit it perfectly. Right. So that's what I did. Now I gotta decide what I want to put on the center. What, what color I want to do the center? Yes. I think I'm going to do mine yellow. And I'm going to do these petals white. I'm on a daisy kick today. So anybody that watched me this morning will know that. Hey, there's Pepper. There, I was just talking about you. She so, could tell. She could tell. That's why she's here. Well, I have this bright magenta metallic. And I was like, maybe I'll use it. Yeah. First, I thought I would use gold. And then I thought, no, I think I want to do this. I think that's one Monday. Yeah. I took, one do. yeah, I took these silly cookie sheets from Dollar Tree I've had for probably two years because I had to buy a whole stack of them because there was going to be 500 things I do with them, and I think I've used them twice. I have a stack, too. So, and then I just took a piece of paper and made a petal, just drew it on there, and then I, could, we just made, I just made them a little bit smaller. But I have one, two, four pieces here, and I'm cutting them all together. And I'm not trying to cut each one separate. It's not hard to cut. This stuff is not hard to cut. Because it's kind of thin. Yeah. Just don't cut yourself with it. That's probably why I still have a stack. Because you're afraid you cut yourself? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure I heard Jonathan's voice in my head. <laughs> <laughs> don't cut yourself and i just traced that piece of paper on here now these are going to be bigger than the other petals but i think that might be okay i think we'll have a couple big ones 
couple small ones. Let's see. I was just telling Lisa, you guys, I might have to cut a short because I got uh, volunteered to do a pickup <laughs> for <laughs> my oldest granddaughter is doing. Uh, she's the manager for baseball this year, her and her friend, and she volunteered me to pick her friends, two of her friends up to go to um, volleyball. I mean, whatever, baseball. And they got to be there at four o'clock. So we may have to cut it early. But that's okay. That's okay. If Miss Lisa's not done, she can keep playing. Right? Yes. Just because I got to go. Yeah. Then like, you, like then the, you can get off and have FOMO. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was getting ready to say. It's like, it's just like the kid that gets picked up first from the birthday party. Yeah. <laughs> so. so you're working on cutting yours? Yeah, I'm just cutting them. I just, I kind of want to lay it out and see. See if. I don't have to put it on that board. I could figure out. I could probably hot glue it on here. Yeah. That's kind of what I'm thinking is that right there, only with a bunch of them. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, this morning, this morning was a disaster, Lisa. <laughs> that was crazy. It ended up very good, though. I was like, oh my God, what is happening? And then my iPad, all I could see on my iPad was my boobs. <laughs> I, I was know. Cut off, it was cut off from here to here. Well, so you I was know. Like, oh, my, oh my God, oh my God. How am I going to get this done? And nobody's going <laughs> to be able to see anything. And then I pulled up on the phone and it didn't look like that at all on the phone. No, the view, when you use the iPad to go on Facebook, the view cuts most everything off. See, I didn't know that because I never use my iPad to go live on Facebook. I always use my iPad and I always pull it up on my computer because it's, it's challenging because you think nobody's seeing anything and they can see more than you want them to see. As you learned. <laughs> yeah. And then when it yeah. zoomed in, did it zoom in on your boobs? <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, people don't want to look at that. And then every time I held something up, it was like, I didn't know where to hold it because I'm looking up here to hold it up. Yeah. It was, it was challenging, but we got through it. Yeah. You did yeah. good. It's okay. Put this on really thick for it to really even show the color. Yeah. I'm thinking this will work. I'm just gonna set those to the side and get mine painted. If it doesn't work, it's not the first time I failed. There's the color. I like that color. I wonder if I do it on the inside if it'll color better. Yeah, I think so. And I'm actually using a little um silicone brush from Prima. Yeah. That's for pace. I don't ever use this brush, but it's working good for this. I'm going to try. I wonder if I'm going to try the stencil brush. I don't know why I thought that would work. Well, it's not doing too bad. It's just doing the um, the wire. Jeannie's here. There's Miss Jeannie. Jeannie, this is Magenta Metallics from Deco Art. Christy's using my favorite color. I'm using yellow. It's called Crocus Yellow. It's just what I had. So, did I ever send you or tell you about the sticky mat from Dollar Tree? People are using that to paint their little laser wood pieces instead of putting the tape down. No. Yeah, so it's like they must have little miniature sticky mats, like Cricut mats. Yeah. 
I was like, I bet you I have several mats. I can cut those up and make my own and not have to go to Dollar Tree. Because I was going to tell you, I'm like, don't tell Christy because she's trying to not go to Dollar Tree. But then I was like, but we could just cut up old, old mats that we have. I'm sure you're like me. You have several. Yeah, I do. I have several that don't have a lot of sticky on it. But it would and, probably be sticky oh, enough to hold those down. Yeah, and even if you had to add more sticky to it, it would be okay because... For the purpose of that. Paper, you're holding wood. Yeah. You're not holding paper or vinyl or whatever. Yeah. So. There you go. That's what there. we got to work on. We got to challenge and the, test, test it out. Yes. That would be cheaper than the that 3M tape. That stuff's expensive. Oh, it is expensive. That's why I stick it on my little round thing and leave it until it ain't got no more stick in it. Because <laughs> I'm cheap. I, I do that when I'm in here by myself, but on my live, a lot of times I throw, end up throwing it in the trash. But I have a whole bunch. Well, I don't have a whole bunch anymore. And I had a whole bunch stuck over here on my little cart. You know what? We should have spray painted this. Yeah, we should have. Oh, well. The generic, I found that the generic tape, though, doesn't work as good. Oh, yeah? Never bought the generic. Yeah, don't. I always, I usually always buy a pack of it when um, we pop, walk past the paint counter. Right. At Rose or Menards. Yeah. So, because that's when I think about it, when I'm walking past it, I'm like, oh, I probably better get some of that. Can't remember if I got another pack or not. I don't know if you guys can see this on here, but it is, oh, you can see it. <laughs> I just looked up. To me, I could barely see it. And I thought, well, maybe you can barely see it. But it's, it's definitely yellow. So. And I'm not going to try to get mine all perfect either because flowers aren't perfect. No, they're not. Well, no. they are perfect, but they're not perfectly covered in all the things. I just kind of did the mesh. I didn't really get the paint in between the squares. Are they sticky, Jeannie? Hey, Melissa. There's my friend. Hey, Melissa. Melissa is um, the Graceful Barn. Yes. Thank you for watch. popping over here. Yep. Watched her many times. Don't forget to thumbs up, you guys. That's what's, whatever this is called, YouTube likes. <laughs> so, you guys, don't forget, I just woke up. Okay, like for us to remember their name, too. We'll work on that. YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, I just woke up, so give me grace. Give me I love you grace. all the grace you need. Just a tish of grace. My truffle has gotten hard. I'm gonna have to, and I'm out of distilled water. I'm gonna, I, I need to, I'm out of stuff. I'm at the point now that I need to start making a list. Yeah. Because this is, there's still some in there. I just can't bring myself to toss it because there's still some in there that I it needs know. to thinned out a little bit. You need, get some of those little um, scoopy spoons. Do you have some of the scoopy spoons? Uh uh. Do you know what I'm talking about? Uh-uh. No. I'm so bad for you. Scoop, scoopy spoons. You're not bad. Um, you'll have to show me what those are and then to scoop out of there. I mean, it sounds like, you know, a spoon that's a scoop. <laughs> yeah, and they fit down into two-ounce bottles, too. Really? Yeah. There we go. So I have like the silicone spatulas from Dollar Tree to get the paint out of my chalk paint bottles. Yeah. But oh, then, that's a good idea. I got a bunch of those things. Yep. Yeah. And then I have these, and I think you get four for like $8 or something on Amazon. See, it's got a big end, which fits down in the two ounce bottle. And then yeah. it's got that tiny end to get little bits. I need that. Yep. I need that. So I just, yeah, I just added a little brown to mine. So I kind of think I'm doing, I don't know what I'm doing. I went from sunflower to daisy, back to sunflower, back to daisy. 
Did you see it? Did you see it, Mary? It's just got a metal handle and it's got a small scoop on one end and a longer scoop on the other and it fits down inside of the little two ounce bottles. Because I don't like one drop of my paint going in the trash. Yeah. I just call it a scoopy spoon. <laughs> but that's not what it's called. Let me pull it up on Amazon and I can tell you. Or actually I can post it in the link. Um, trying to decide if maybe I need the no I'm leaving these petals big so should I do my petals I like those two colors together and no they're not sticky should I do my white or should I do my petals yellow um do white and then dry brush some yellow okay can't make decisions yet. Do white. How do I make you all big? I'm not sure. It's really kind of hard when it's on the uh, on here, isn't it? When you're watching two people on YouTube to make make us bigger. I'm not sure. Lisa's concentrating. <laughs> I don't know how to do it either. There it is. There we go. Oh. The one I ordered it on there, so let's see if I can find more. Skippy spins, skippy spins. All right, well, they're not on there anymore. What? Okay, I will have to find them and then I'll post it in the comments later. I don't want to keep doing that. Since Isabel made us have a deadline, right? <laughs> That's right, I hate that girl. So, um, Pepper, try turning your phone or your iPad sideways. I'm not sure oh. what device you're on, but if you try turning it sideways, sometimes that gives you a bigger view. How's that? I had an answer. There we go. I didn't even think about that. I didn't think about that. So I'm just putting white paint on these petals. I'm not trying to get every single stinking little spot. Just kind of... So I have this material. This is what I'm going to wrap around my handle. That green. Have you, have you ever bought those? Um, oh, I like that. I think I lost my sound. Can you hear me? I can hear you now. Oh, I can hear you now. Have I ever bought those what? Those rag rugs and tore them apart? Yeah, that's what that green's from. Is it? Okay. That's what the green's from. I don't know if I'm going to use this glue gun, but I guess I'll turn it on. See what happens. Because I'm just going to wrap that around there. I haven't taken it completely apart though, because that's too much of a commitment. You know how I am yeah. about commitments. Well, well, me, you know, I can't just buy one of something. I've seen somebody do it, so I bought like four or five of those rugs. <laughs> and uh, I, I do have one, maybe a quarter of the way tore apart. But then the other ones came in handy when I dumped that stain in the middle of my craft room floor. Oh, but now I'm actually using them as rugs. So there, that's going to be my stem. Like that. So, all right, there's my white on my leaves. And then let's take some yellow. Melanie's here. Hello. Hello, Melanie. I th you figured it out on your own. Very good, Melanie. Very good. So I have a wooden ring that fits perfectly over that. 
and I'm going to tie some strips of fabric to make. That's going to be my petals. That's going to be so cute. I never thought of that. I'm jealous. I'm jealous. I used to have a series that I did called Ask Pepper. Obviously, it wasn't just me. It was me and Angela. And I would come up with, I would find things. And the, it came out of Jonathan's brain. Imagine that. <laughs> we would be out and see stuff. And I'd be like, wonder what I could do with that. And he would say, ask Pepper. Because she always came, comes up with the, the best ideas super fast. She's crazy talented and like she's really good at decorating and staging and all the things. She can look at something and turn it into something beautiful. So we we did we started doing Ask Pepper and it would just be random weird stuff and she would come up with the wildest, coolest creation. So <laughs> I you remember have, you have to schedule a consult with her and she'll tell you. Um Cause she helped, she helped me figure out how to do this. Cause she came up with the idea to do use wire and make petal shapes like what you're doing, but just open wire and then attach fabric to that. But that was too much work. I just wanted to cut a circle. You just want to cut a circle. I just want a circle. I mean, I have that big laser in my living room. I need to use it. Right. Right, exactly. 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 And I have this little bin of just, see, just fabric scraps that I just cut stuff and put it in there. That's going to be so cute, Lisa. I think so too. I want to. I like the scrappy rag stuff. Yeah. Me too. Me too. Me too. Yeah, we came on early today because, and if I say this every time, and something always changes. My life just changes at the drop of a hat. Um, we don't have our sports banquet tonight. They postponed it. Are you serious? Yep. <laughs> They decided there was too many kids that were going to miss it because of other activities and because spring break starts Monday. And um, I've never allowed my kids to get out early for spring break, but a lot of people do. So, yeah, uh, they uh, so spring break starts next week. So there was going to be too many people. Miss. There's only eight girls on the team. So I guess if one person misses, that's a lot. It's a big gap. Yeah. yeah so I never let Patrick off like that either. I was that mom too. Yeah, I so am that, that mom. Yeah. So that's, so we're not having that tonight, but he wanted to skip, well not skip, but skip Friday and go with a friend of his to Charleston that didn't want to go by herself in a situation that they volunteered for. And I said, no. <laughs> yeah. He's and like, why good. not? The classes aren't important. And I said, well, you signed up for the classes. So, yeah. Now I have to say last Friday, I let Lily miss school. But that child has never missed a day. And uh, she wanted to go. Her friend's parents called and they put, they're real big into softball. And the parents play. She went down with them on last Friday, but I made her let the teachers know beforehand and she had all her stuff done beforehand. So. <laughs> Tammy said, I was that mom that scheduled tonsil remover over spring break. There you go. <laughs> hey, you know what? Oh yeah, my oldest one, when she had her braces, would get so mad at me because I made all the appointments um after school yeah everybody else gets to leave from school and go it's like well you know you're not everybody else that's right <laughs> you're not everybody else that's so funny yeah poor izzy she's very upset right now because she's wanting to do the career center next year 
just wanted to do it for um, to be a CNA, that th that type of thing. And um, it's all supposed to be at Kokomo High School. She goes to Northwestern High School. Yeah. So starting next year, the county schools schools are all taken a part of that. And the one that Northwestern's taken is the one she's signed up for. She's like, I'm not going to get to leave the school. Oh. <laughs> it's like, oh, so you were doing that just to get to leave school. No. Yeah, you were. <laughs> but that was a bonus. Yeah, you were. That's why you were doing it. Yeah, That's you were. Funny. Oh, well, she's mad about it. It's funny. She'll be all right, though. Yeah. Let's see. This you know, I got polka dot fabric going in here. You do? I think I'm going to jump up and go grab some fabric because I I don't like being able to see the bottom of these petals through here. And then if I have fabric inside there, it won't matter. You know? Yep. This look like you guys. This is look dumb. I'm gonna try to see what it looks like. Oh, I'm not. Yeah. I don't that think that's good. Bad. I don't think that looks bad. What you need, Lily? Looks a lot. It's swollen. Yeah. Go take um another ibuprofen. I like to. I mean, uh, I lied to you. I didn't take an ibuprofen this morning because I didn't have time. Okay, well, I meant Benadryl, but yeah. Go take another Benadryl. Last, Lily has a muscle here that's real sore from throwing and stuff. She put an ice pack on it last night, and then she comes in, and she has all these welts on her arm just right there. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. It's like, what is that? What did you put on it? It's just an ice pack. So I threw the ice pack in the trash, gave her one and wrapped it in something, then gave her Benadryl. It, it doesn't look swollen like it did last night, but it's still bright red. Do you have any lavender oil? Mmm. Yes, that's a good idea. I put some of that on there. So, yeah. I'm going to jump up and grab some matte fabric. I'll look at my pink sweatpants. <laughs> Melna, you got her on the big screen with her pink sweatpants? No, don't you dare, Melanie. Hey, Darlia. Hey, hey, hey. There's Joyce. Hello there, Joyce. I'm going to be Lisa, and I got yellow polka dots. Jeannie said her mom used to say skipping school taught that it was okay to skip work. That's true. Right. Well, that's what I always told Patrick his whole life. I'm not raising you to be a child. I'm raising you to be a man. And men don't do that. That was always my line. And he loved it, I'm sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, so and so gets to do it. Like, well, I'm not raising so and so. Do you want their mom to be your mom? Yeah. That's a good one. He always said no. Well, that's good that he said no. I will tell you a funny story, though. One time, the one time in his life, he told me that he hated me. Oh, no. I heard that a lot having girls. They don't hate me anymore. So. I want to live with my dad. And I said, okay. I texted him and I said, he wants to live with you. So he's spending the night or spending the weekend or I'm packing his bag. So can I get him? So he's like, you want him to spend the night? And I said, yes. He's spending the night. It's not an option. So I packed his bag and he started packing like his toys and his games. And I said, no, 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 no. Those belong here. You can't take toys. Be glad I'm letting you take clothes. So I packed his clothes. He picked him up, 
So that weekend I went to our favorite restaurant and got takeout, rented some movies, did different things. And then on Sunday when he was supposed to bring him back, I went over and hung out at my friends and didn't tell him where I was. So when he brought him back, they were sitting there, couldn't get in because I wasn't there. And he called like, where are you at? I said, I'm hanging out with my friend. Well, where? Why aren't you here? And I see, it looks like you went to Carolina Roadhouse. Did you go to Carolina Roadhouse without me? I said, yes. And it was so good. So guess what? He never <laughs> said to me again. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. He never did that again. Don't mess with me. Yeah, don't mess with me. Don't tell me you hate me. That is not acceptable. Right. They don't mean it. No. It does hurt though. Yeah. But he also learned words have power. Mm-hmm. I'm just hot putting this glue, this material in here. There's no rhyme or reason. It's going to just be kind of poofied in there. Yeah, that'd be good. So that's what I'm doing. I don't know if it's right or wrong or whatever. Uh, Melanie's in her studio working on projects. She don't have a big screen. Yay, Melanie. And see, I didn't even make it all the way to the edge. So it's just kind of wrinkly down there. Yeah. That'll work. Looks natural. Jeannie said wintergreen helps with muscle aches. The lavender will be good for the inflammation. Okay. I'll get some. I've got tons of stuff down there. Lavender's good when you have cuts and bites and stuff. As long as it's not like open wounds, obviously, you know that. Right. But just for people who are listening that might not know that, I'm not giving medical advice. I'm not a doctor. Right. And I always try to avoid them, so I use oils. <laughs> I don't like going to the doctor either. No. I don't like it at all. I don't like taking kids to the doctor. I don't, I don't, I'm always, in, I don't know. I'm getting nervous. And Yeah. Patrick's the same way. He'll, he'll be like, what can, what oil can I use? Do you have any oils I can do for this? Yeah. I always forget about the oils. Okay, so here's my center. I like it. Whoop. There we go. I think it'll be okay. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to lay all my petals in here. All right. My thing has a lot of paint in it. I think I need to scoop some of this paint out because mine's not ever going to be dry. Maybe I don't need to put this on the background. Maybe I could just glue each petal on there and then I could put a string on it I'm just going to start doing it why not what's wow. the worst that could happen no. there, there is nothing bad that could happen nope I've been working on my giraffe can't wait to get them finished I seen your giraffe it's so cute not is, my mother-in-law loves giraffes. She has a living room full of giraffes. Really? Yep. All the little statues and stuff. I'm really happy with them so far. So, I think that's going to work. I'm going to have purple paint in my hair before this is over. Thank you, Pepper. So, let's see. Do you guys know how I painted this board right here? Can anybody guess except Lisa? <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know you'll know. 
You know how I painted that board, what I've used? I can give you a hint. Here's what's on the other side. I'm not telling. There we go so far. I'm not telling. Oh, yay, Melanie gets the bozo button. Unicorn okay. spin. Look how cute that is. I love that, Lisa. That is awesome. That was a great idea. I wish you would have told me. I want a pepper. <laughs> pepper i'm taking applications there for sharing pepper i don't just share her freely we're gonna start sharing pepper sorry pepper you don't have any say in it whatsoever <laughs> that is a good idea I did, I did not even think about material at all that never even crossed my mind i don't know why I'm making a big old mess of this paint now. Yeah, see, I don't need the, I don't need the board. Let's put the board away. This is gonna work. I'm losing leaves. Leaves are blowing. I turned my fan on because I just got out of the shower and I was burning up. I don't know. Like that when I get out of the shower too. Turn the fan on. So you can hear my dog downstairs playing with a ball. And the reason I know she's playing with the ball is because I hear thump 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 thump. So she's throwing it up, trying to catch it. Aw. I gotta get another rag. I just got this paint all in. This one is useless. Now this flower here, I was gonna say, if you're putting it like outside in the sun, this glue would probably melt and these leaves may fall off. Just as fair warning. Because I'm using hot glue. <laughs> pepper said, I'm a pepper, you're a pepper. Would you like to be a pepper too? Yes, I would. <laughs> I'd like to be a pepper and I'd like to have a pepper. <laughs> That's funny. Pepper's a girl. Yeah. I haven't heard that commercial in a long time. I'm a pepper. She's a pepper. Do, do, do. But who watches commercials anymore, anyway? <laughs> Not me. Me neither. Commercials are scary anymore. You know, it's funny because you hear people talk about, you know, today's youth and all this stuff, you know, they don't watch, they don't have um, the very big attention span. And um, because, you know, watching like YouTubes and TikToks and stuff like that, the short, you know, sh short attention span is what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not like that. I'm not the new you. But I catch myself fast forwarding through people's lives when I watch them afterwards. Fast forwarding through, you know, like we record most of the shows that we watch. Yep. And um, we're sitting there record, you know, fast forwarding through all of it. And then if we have to watch something live, it drives us absolutely crazy. It's annoying. Yep. Like that's that's what society has done to us is our we only have a short attention span anymore. Where are my scissors? Well, I think that turned out pretty cute. Oh, it is so cute. I have a new face. I'm gonna wrap this. I should have done it before, but I did not. Wrap that in some some jute. Ouch. Do you guys see what I made this morning? Does anybody want to see? Yes. I did this. Now you can I read love it. I love that. Yeah. And that's the other side I did the other day. But yeah. Unicorn spit. Unicorn spit. 
Yeah, I missed that other one, but that was when Patrick was home. I missed a lot while my boy was home. And then we did this one with the daisies and the and the words. I was doing it this way. Then I discovered that it looked kind of cuter this way. So I'm actually thinking about putting another daisy right here where this blank spot is. Oh, yeah, that would be cute. Yeah. And then the other side, I did this. I like the sunflower, but my words, because when I, these words aren't in this order on the stencil, and I should have moved this up and cut this little squiggly line off. So I'm probably going to sand it and redo it. <laughs> because it just, it turned out, it's like grow and grace but, rather than grow and grace. <laughs> but can everybody just take a moment and acknowledge and tell Christy, how many people do you know can start 10 minutes late because of technical issues and still do three projects in 45 minutes? It was can just we, can like, we, can we just give, can we just make her acknowledge this truth? <laughs> I was in panic mode. <laughs> That's what happened. That is what happened. So. Some of yeah. them, I can't figure out what it's about. Do you mean the commercials, Mary? Is that what you mean? Yeah, that was that was exciting this morning. I don't think anything else. Izzy starts her um, acting training this Sunday. Oh, where's she doing that at? She's doing it down in Indianapolis. Is that a long drive? About an hour. She'll do for six weeks. She'll go down. Um, uh, or not six weeks, for about six months, once a month on a Sunday. She'll be down there all day. So I'm excited. She's excited. So does she do drama at school? No. That's why I was a little bit shocked. I was like, why don't you do the, well, she says that the, um, the drama and the plays at school are mostly musicals and she doesn't want to sing. She wants to, you know, act, I guess you could say. So why not? If she wants to try it, let's try it. Absolutely. It's not hurting anybody. So, and then um, also Sunday, you guys, is the Sensel Soul Sister event. I'm starting this off at noon Eastern time. There's only four of us this time. Um, Miss Renee is not joining us this time. Um, she's got a, some stuff going on at home. She's getting ready for retirement. So she's uh, um, doing stuff like that. Yeah. And then, then Miss Shanna from Frame It and Containment, Tain It, if you don't know, her husband had heart surgery. Yeah. So she is leaving her schedule clear until he is completely clear. And he seems to be doing fantastic. She's had some um, reels and stuff on of him going for, he's home, going for walks and things like that. So I'm happy about that. So she didn't want to commit. I don't blame her. You got a uh, family uh, first. So it's me and Melissa and Cindy and Sharon. So... We're just going to do some spring projects. Nothing ex too exciting. So, stenciling in the afternoon. My favorite thing. <laughs> so. I can't believe I didn't shop that sale. I didn't either. But, yeah. Well, who don't need any? Well, well I have. I actually, actually went and looked. But I had all those. <laughs> yeah, right. 
So it's like, well, I don't, the, and none of them were ones that, you know, that I maybe like the, the welcome porch leaner, you know, I could probably use another one of those because I use it all the time. Um, but none of them were any ones like that, that I use a lot. So I did look this morning on the stencil of the month sale, the, the club shop thing. I did. Look oh, I thought, that's what, I thought that's what you meant. No, I meant the 25% off sale. Oh. Yeah. I also have a $15 gift card. I have a $15 mm -hmm. gift card, 25% off plus your 10% off because I use your code. And then, like, really? But. But you couldn't find nothing? Well, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't even look. I was enjoying my boy. Oh, that's true. That's true. Okay. It's all right. I'm sure it's nothing I can't live without. Right. Yeah, sometimes we get a little carried away just because there's a sale. Yep. How long has it been since you've been to Dollar Tree? I was just thinking you need to have like an uh, anniversary celebration. It's been a long time. It's um, been about a year, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah. It wasn't it like spring last year? I think so. That's when I decided that I was going to quit going. I think you need to like have a little party or something, not like go to Dollar Tree kind of party, but like you need to like, woohoo, woohoo. Maybe they'll send you like a gift card and then you can go on their dime. Yeah. And I need, um, I need to get some more awesome. So I'm going to need to go. Oh, yeah. Um, our our code doesn't work in the stencil of the month club. Yeah, I know. Yeah. As far as the um, buying the stuff in there. Yes, I will show you. So this morning I was, you all know I work third. So when I was done this morning, instead of going down and washing my brushes, I put them in a baggie with a wet paper towel. And um, instead of just leaving them in water, because it's not good for them. And there's, see, they didn't get stiff or nothing. So then now when I go clean these brushes, I can get these washed. Did you say you put water in the bag? A uh, wet paper towel. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, not like soaking wet, it's just damp. And it kept them soft because I didn't, I'm just gonna be honest, I didn't wanna walk downstairs and do it. Because when I go downstairs, then the dog starts going crazy in her cage and then I'll have to, I'll feel bad for her and I'll have to let her out to go potty because I think that she'll be so excited she'll pee in her cage or something dumb like that. It was just too much drama. I put him in a bag. <laughs> <laughs> too much. I feel you. I'm going to take um, some green paint and my chippy brush and go kind of across the top of. Now, if this doesn't doesn't look good, then we'll just pull this jute off and <laughs> nope, that works. I think that looks all right. Just so my stem is green. There we go. Just like that. Yeah, that looks cool. I think if I sprayed some of that stiffy stuff or spray starch on this to stiffen these up, that will oh. do. Yep. Yes. What about that um, that Mod Podge stuff that you had that you made the twisty guys with? Could yeah. you? Is that spray or liquid? I think it was liquid, wasn't it? So I could just brush it on there, right? Yeah. I would think so. I don't think I have any spray starch, and I don't really want to buy anything. Yeah. We're sounding yeah. like a couple cheapskates on here. I know we do, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> I nothing. Well, if you probably, to be honest, uh, at least I'm going to talk for me here. If you've seen my craft room, you'd go, you know what? You don't need to go buy anything for years, girl. Yes, exactly. Because we need to just, you, you know, when, and especially when I first started watching lives, it was like everybody, somebody would do something. And it was like, I need to do that. So I just like these pizza paint or these cookie shots. I've got a whole stack. Why? I didn't need a whole stack. It was because people were making stuff with them. And I felt like I needed to go buy it. And you don't. 
Yeah, that's why I stopped going to Dollar Tree because I kept buying stuff. I saw people making stuff with. I'm like, why am I buying that? I don't even do that kind of stuff. Yeah. And you don't need to, you could just buy it to do the project. You don't need to buy extra. That's my biggest problem. I'm always buying extra, extra, extra. <laughs> like, oh, well, I might want to make 27 of those things. So I need to buy. <laughs> and the reality of Dollar Tree is, you know, it might be in a year or five or never before they get them back in. Yeah. So you're like, if I get this and I like it and then I can't find any, that'll be the end of the world. So it's all Dollar Tree's fault that our craft rooms are crazy looking. Yes. All right, you guys, what do you think? Can you see it very well? Yeah. I think it looks kind of clumpus and brown on there. I don't know what it is. I don't know. It is. It's not a sunflower. It's not a daisy. It's just a flower. It's, it's a Christmas a flower. There you go. So I think that looks kind of cute. I probably could have made the petals a little smaller and maybe more of them. But go big or go home, right? Yes. Let me tie this on here and I'll show you what mine looks like. Right on, right on, right on. Yay! So I think it turned out kind of cute. I'm going to figure out how to hang it. Probably put, some, put some wire or jute between the little hooky things. So it would be on this side of the flower though. Oh, mine, that part of mine's on the back. But I think I've got enough cookie sheet here that I could punch a hole and tie a piece on the back here. I just need to give it a haircut and some stiffening stuff. Yes, let me see. Let's see. <gasps> I love it. I love it. I think I'll probably put fabric back here too. Yeah. You guys, look at that. We took one thing and two looks two totally different things. Yep. So, really yep. cute though. I'm gonna trim them up and put some stiffy stuff on it. Yeah. Yep. Good job. And look, it's 329. I know. That's not like us. We're usually an hour and a half. <laughs> I... We did we, good. We've done 52 minutes. That's fantastic. You guys, I apologize. I got to jump off here, but I need to make it a little more clear that I don't mind taking people to do stuff, but we need to look at the schedule first. <laughs> yeah, check the calendar. Check the calendar. It's all right, though. We got done. Yep. Y'all so, have a great day. Thanks for joining us. Until next time. Yep. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.